Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to um, adjust a bridge on the clarinet. Now, um, the bridge keys are crucial to the clarinet. It's where the two joints um, meet and they, if they're not in line, a student is going to experience a lot of squeaking and that can be really discouraging for a beginner. So it's really important that you take notice of this. Um, so you're going to need two things. You're going to need some flat mouth pliers. What I mean by that is the inside of these mouths, instead of being ridged like normal pliers, they're completely flat. And you'll see why in a minute. And you're going to need a thin strip of plastic. This is just from a Ziploc baggie. You can also use um, you know, gum. You get like that little wrapper. That's great to use. Um, and we're going to use this to see if there's any leaks. So what you're going to do to start is you're going to put your two joints together and line up the bridge keys visually. So here you can see my bridge keys are lined up. That's really important. And now I'm just going to press the bottom joint um, at the very the, the lowest ring. So this is the one that has is the weakest compared to all these, um, all the other rings. Um, and it's important to do this because if it can hit here, then it'll hit everywhere else. So we're going to check and see if we have any bouncing. So I'm going to show you what I mean by bouncing. Now this is not very pronounced, but bouncing would be, I don't know if you guys can see that. This, this key is moving up a little bit. Whereas this key, when I hit it, nothing happens. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exaggerate it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we're going to press this lower ring and see if we experience any bouncing. So visually you can see already that this key is not closing. This is bouncing um, and it's the most extreme form. Um, what we want to happen is both this pad and this pad to close at the exact same time and be completely sealed all the way around. So this key is too high, so that means we're going to have to adjust our bridge keys. Um, and you only adjust the upper joint bridge key. You never, ever, don't ever, ever touch the lower joint bridge key because it is really hard to fix if you mess it up. So we're going to go ahead and adjust. So because this one is too high, we need it to hit sooner. So we're going to bend down. If it was too um, low, then we would bend up, but it's too high. So we're going to bend down and we should bend down quite a bit in this case. So now the reason we needed flat mouth pliers is so that you don't mark the key when you bend it. Um, and the student has no idea what you've done. Okay, now let's check and see how this looks. Okay. Oh, the bend is almost completely gone. And I can't feel anything here. So this is where your piece of plastic comes in hand because you need to check to be sure that it is actually on. Um, not leaking. So what we do with our piece of plastic is we, pressing the same same ring, we're gonna put it underneath the pad of the upper joint and we're just gonna press. And if you get a tug, when you try to pull it away, that means it's sealing on that side. So I like to do like a plus sign. So we'll, we'll do that way and then that way. So you should have, for each pad, you should do it four times. Really simple. I'm just going to take a second to do this. And so this is sealed all the way around, which is what we want. And our student will be able to play and not get any squeaks, which is great. 